Y'all ready for a new adventure? We're buying another car. I know we didn't need a car, another car to add to the big lineup of projects that we have, but this one came up with a new plan and I think you guys are gonna like it because it involves diesel and y'all like diesels. Can't wait for y'all to see this. We think it's got a lot of potential, but it's probably a pile. <laughs> this is our friend Alex. And y'all know the kid, and we've road tripped Fiona the Bronco from East Texas to Houston, and we're about to go check this car out, so let's go! Uh, oh, well, would you just look at it? Babe, are you in love? It mm. looks better than I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just say that. For some reason, Mother Nature decided it would be a fun time to rain. This is nice and so sweet. We just knocked on the door and our guy came and y'all, he's a fan. He watches all kinds of automotive YouTube content. He's like, yo, yeah, I watch Vice Grip Garage and Chris Fix. I'm like, what, you're kidding me. And he's like, I love your boat videos and y'all just did cool tractor stuff. No freaking way. His name's Yafit. This is his beautiful Tesla that he did the wrap himself. He painted his wheels and his calipers. Like, he's a cool kid. And he just told us that he's just started a detailing business. So he's outfitted his Tesla and he's going to show us what he's done to outfit it for a mobile detailing rig. But so cool. Car fam is just awesome and we're everywhere, right? Yeah. Can't wait to take a closer look at this beast. <laughs> the bins. Oh my gosh. I like this sweet trunk prop that you have here. Yeah, you know. It's, <laughs> it's custom. And he said we can have this awesome VP racing and, and diesel the, tank. The thing about this is I will never fix that. No, yeah. this is a part of this car. <laughs> I, can, I can include them. I think I have the parts. I have a bunch of parts. I saw some <laughs> stuff back there. These are the motor mount strokes. Oh, you have the struts, but this has so much character. <laughs> Do you like it, kid? <laughs> oh, a car like this should have character, you know? It should tell a story. And then I guess in the listing you saw all the original documentation. Yeah. Original owners. They have like a plaque and everything. So earlier he was telling us the story of the car, and I hope I get it right, correct me if I'm wrong, but he bought it from the first owners of it, and it was in their family for years and years, and the dad gave it to his son to drive to high school, and then the mom drove it for a while, and then he ended up buying it from them, and he wanted to do a full resto on it, but he realized, oh, maybe this is a little bit bigger of a project than I'm ready for. So then he listed it for sale. And this man found it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> the kid's uh, hiding from the rain. It's pretty smart. It's coming down pretty good again. To a pressure washer reel. Dude, this is awesome. And then I got the under here, I got the, uh, the pressure washer and the air compressor. <laughs> Man. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to start it up. Red. Right on, dude. Couple, so, then we can include if you're in the Houston area, how far will you travel to do detailing? Anyway, the money's right. <laughs> yeah, bring me out. Everything for self for Okay, so where can they follow your detailing stuff? Um, the company is called Aura Detailing. On Instagram, it's Aura, A-U-R-A dot T-X. So y'all, check out how resilient this car is. <laughs> the headlight still works even after just like totally not, not being uh, okay. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, babe, it's meant to be. Yep. 
the keychain oh, ring away. fits yeah. your finger. Aww. <laughs> She's beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you just say, I do? <laughs> I guess so. He gave the man some money, so now he can buy more detailing gear or something. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You said you had some pieces for it? Yeah. It's a beautiful day at the beach. I was losing my mind for about a week until I could call you. Alex, are you ready for this adventure? Absolutely. <laughs> Aaron and Alex are going to be starting in the bins in this beauty. And uh, Aaron said, all right, I'm ready for a gas station. I need to put air in the tires and get diesel in it. So and then we're going to be hitting the road home. We're about four, probably four and a half, maybe five hours from home. <laughs> so, oh man, it's probably four o'clock, 4.30. So we may be driving into the night. Huh? 4.30. The kid says it's 4.30. So yeah, the adventures begin. It's pretty sweet because this Christmas pillow comes with it. <laughs> and it was face down, but mm -mm, no. Gingerbread man needs his, his glory. All right, babe, it's pretty comfy. Gingerbread man? It's not gingerbread. It's a nutcracker. That's a nutcracker. Oh, and that's huh. the reason I had it flipped over. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't need any of that today. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I glanced and thought it was a gingerbread man, but it's a nutcracker. And wow, babe, there's just, that's just a lot. That's amazing. Wow, you had good parts for it. Yep. You spent some moolah on her. Moolah, moolah, Danielle. Did you have a name for it? Not yet. <laughs> Y'all could. It's going to have to earn it. Yep. Uh-huh. I have you a feeling it's going to earn its name. <laughs> That's it's awesome. Definitely the name is Buster the Bin. That's a nice. <laughs> Time to crank her up. Yeah. Let her warm up for her long road trip. Buster. <laughs> it's kind of a cute name. So. You may see him on an upcoming episode because he's asking us if he can come detail one of our cars and we're like, yeah, we have like one or two shiny ones. <laughs> so that would be awesome. But y'all be sure to check the description. I'll include if he has a website um, and his Instagram to follow him and hire him. Nice. It's been sitting for a while. You know, cars like this have character, and it's good. I love it. Thank you so much, oh, bud. Uh, <laughs> I think that was an attempt at a burnout. <laughs> Does kind of roll cool. Dang it. You want it back? <laughs> what an awesome dude so proud of him he's already he's 17 yeah and he's already like flipped a bunch of cars um just an awesome dude i'm so proud of him it's so fun to meet young gearheads that are entrepreneurs like paying for their car hobby with hustle and grit if you're of the older generation and you're looking at kids coming up nowadays and worrying don't worry, there's a lot of awesome ones out there that are growing up with ambition and passion and grit. It's awesome. All right, let's get on the road. The boys left us. Yeah. <laughs> So it's idling really rough, but it's not running bad, it's just idling low. And so I'm trying to 
set the idle up, but on these it's a little bit difficult to get in there and I only brought a few tools. So I think I'll get it, but I'm going to keep working. We believe in you, babe. Yeah. He's got his Leatherman out, so I trust that he's going to make some stuff happen. You haven't ever seen him work on cars. He's good. I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. So there's, this is your throttle right here? Yep. And what I'm doing right now is I'm loosening a set screw so I can screw that so it's permanently down a little bit further. And by doing that, it won't idle as high? It'll idle a little bit higher and that'll take away that vibration. Gotcha. He was a sweetheart of a kid, man. He was awesome. He's going to have a good life. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's already working so hard. Yeah. Doing awesome stuff. And he right. watches our channel, so he'll, he'll know how not to do stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking again about how awesome Yafet was. Such a cool kid. Young man. Young badass. Tinkering with the car. We're only about five minutes away from his house. <laughs> but. Mr. Mr. Reeves wants to get it tankered with a little bit, and we like that. Seems smoother. Seems smoother. The air filter's moving left. I'm gonna go a little bit more. Okay. All right, babe. Do you have it where you want it? I think that's gonna get us there. This is the idle way back in here. There's a lock nut on the bottom, very difficult to see. But you have to loosen that and then turn it in and it should idle much better and not vibrate my teeth out now. <laughs> Just that, it's a different car. guys said that they saw a pho restaurant that's in this parking lot. So we're moving the vehicles and we're going to go have some pho. And then we're going to get on the road home right when it starts to get dark, probably. <laughs> that might not be ideal, but that's okay. <laughs> not very is right. <laughs> he's, he's trying to see if the AC works. What doesn't work? The radio or the air conditioner? The cigarette lighter. Oh. <laughs> oh well. I didn't bring any cigarettes in the Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got delicious food. Aaron, show us what's under your bowl. Really big crawfish. <laughs> big crawfish. <laughs> delicious food. Good times. Okay, we had a delicious dinner complete with Thai tea. And now it's time for the guys to jump in the bins. And we're going to hit the road and see how far we get until it needs to be wrenched on. Maybe it won't break and this will be a super boring episode. <laughs> Aaron would like that. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. So, we'll see. See y'all on the road. The kid bought... Uh, frappuccino drink and she just added it to her Thai tea. She will not be falling asleep on the <laughs> <Hopefully>. drive home. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, don't put it past me. Hopefully not. Hopefully you will yeah, fall hopefully, asleep. Hopefully not. I won't. Okay. Hopefully I won't fall asleep. That's okay. what I meant. <laughs> not hopefully I will. 
Man, both those headlights are pretty bright. That's good. And we got marker lights. <gasps> They're opening the sunroof. Look at their happiness right now. Will you roll my window down, kid? Yes, I will. Look at them. They're really discussing it. You boys are fancy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> They needed coffee. coffee. They must not be entertained enough by the 300 TD to keep them awake. They look like they're happy though. <laughs> they look plenty about. happy <laughs> and pr plenty awake. How you doing, man? She was so ready to go, she didn't want to turn off. Oh, that was dieseling the whole time? Uh, it wasn't dieseling. It's got a vacuum operated solenoid that shuts the fuel off. And it's. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, it's not working properly, so that's funny. Just, had, just had to think about it for a minute. <laughs> She's cruising, mm -hmm. huh? I I think the car will do 150 if you let it. Oh my god! <laughs> I passed you doing 90. Oh my goodness! He said she's ready to drive down to Miami Beach right now. Yeah, yeah dude, let's go to Miami. Yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> He decided he wanted some fuel. Is she taking a little diesel? Yeah, there's a vent or something stopped up on this or a kink in the line. It's real hard to get diesel in it. So we've been playing with the name Buster the Benz. I wanted a B name because I like calling this thing a Benz. I think it's funny because it's like, when I think of a Benz, I think of a Benz, like a fancy car. And you see this thing and it's like, wow. Okay, so I think it's funny to have like a B name, the Benz. So Aaron said, how about Buster? I'm like, that's kind of funny. He's like, because I think it's kind of busted. <laughs> it's not quite as busted as we thought it was. It's actually a pretty straight car, but of course, like it's, you know, quirky. It's got issues, but hey, you know what? That's why we like it. But I think it's Buster the Benz. The sunroof is pretty snazzy I'm so happy the kid jumped in with us last minute yeah she was in the yard with my sister and her big little sister big sister her little sister <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm sorry and she was like I wish I was going and I was like why aren't you jumping and so her mom was like go ahead so awesome. I got to it's awesome and I don't think we're gonna be home until after midnight so she's gonna get to sleep over too Buster the Beamer, our beautiful new 300 TD, made it home. The Beamer? Did I say Beamer? Yes. <laughs> you said Buster, Buster the, the Beamer. beamer. <laughs> I was like, did you say Beamer? Okay, it's late. 
Yeah. And I also kind of want a Beamer. <laughs> <laughs> but not a busted Buster one. I want like a new M4 competition. Nevertheless, Buster <laughs> the Benz made it home. And we are a little sleepy silly. Yeah. <laughs> um, next time we see y'all, it'll be time to, I don't know, work on it drive it more maybe try and break it or i don't know aaron's like, got try plans and break it i don't know people like to see carnage anyway just wanted to let y'all know we made it home we safely did. safe and sound the guys said that they didn't even realize that they were in a 40 year old car and i was like that's cool so i can't wait to ride in it see y'all soon it's a new day and uh ralph the tractor is running because of this. <laughs> Aaron was trying to clear the front of the property for mowing. And we've had a lot of rain recently. Turns out he got the car stuck. So it's time to pull it out. <laughs> he just asked me if I wanted to drive the tractor or the car. And I said tractor. I've only driven it twice. Oh, Buster. We definitely love the name Buster the Benz. You ready? Okay. We have a tree down. Hackberry trees, they just fall. Okay. Kind of smoky over here. Thanks to Buster. <laughs> okay.
was like, oh yeah, I had it in high gear when I was on the road. Yep. Got to put it in low gear. Yep. I got to learn how to track your you know? Oh yeah. If you guys have watched Flying Sparks Garage very long, you will know that Emily and I have been very fortunate to own some really cool cars. And so if you're wondering why in the world I bought a junky old Mercedes, I'm gonna tell you. So I was thinking the other day, it's probably been two weeks ago actually, if I was 17 years old again and I managed to scrape up three or four thousand bucks to buy a car, what would I buy? Um, I'm almost 39, be 39 at the end of the month. And um, I've learned a few things about cars. And so if I were a kid again, this is the exact car I would buy. Uh, it's got a diesel in it, five cylinder. They call it an OEM 617. One of the best engines ever built. They just won't die, like you can't kill them. And I love the wagon. So if I was 17, I'd be wanting to take my friends cruising around and want to take some fun road trips. And this car gets good fuel mileage because it's diesel. And like I said, you can't kill the darn thing. Um, this is a good example. I'm looking right now at the odometer. It's got 323,000 miles on it and it runs like it's brand new. So I'll show you the engine here in a minute. The car's a little rough. Sunroof's really cool. It works. It's it's mechanical. It's not electrical. And I don't know if we'll, we're probably not going to do interior on this car even. We'll go buy some seat covers, throw them on here. And you know, I kind of like to put a rooftop tent up there or get me a teardrop camper or something pull with it. And I've got this dream of going to the coast, enjoying the beach, and in the same week going snowboarding. And I want to do it in this car. So that's why we bought it. Gave the guy 2500 bucks for it. And that was a very good deal. I could have spent a lot more money, but, but the car is kind of rough. And I drove it all the way back from Houston. You guys, at this point, have probably already seen that in the episode. But let me show you around her a little bit. So this is the legendary OM617. Literally cannot kill that freaking engine. They last forever. You will have issues like this operates off vacuum. And so sometimes the car doesn't want to die if you get a vacuum leak. So you, any of you guys that own one of these, you've been out here more than once and pushed that to turn the car off. It's an old inline fuel pump. Those things are super reliable and they can be really smooth if you get the idle set right. I'm having an issue right now with this one idling too low and that makes it vibrate a bunch, but it's a pretty neat car. It's got glow plugs. I believe this is part of the glow plug system. And it also has a plug right there for in the winter, you can plug it in and it'll start easier. Key on, glow plugs, wait for them. And these things fire right up. Everyone I've owned has been like this. But you can see what I'm talking about with this vibration. But watch if I just throttle her up a little bit. Everything smooths out. So we'll adjust that at some point. She's pretty, she's pretty tired. She's an old car. I thought this was another cool part. It came with so much original paperwork. Love this. Here is your Mercedes Benz. <laughs> and this is one of my favorite things right here. It's got a mechanical sunroof. So you flip this and you pull back on it and you got a sunroof. I've had a lot of cars that <laughs> they had electric ones and they inevitably always break. So it's kind of neat to have that one that just, just simple. So I think we're gonna close this one right here. You guys tell me, what should we do with this thing? What trips would you take if you had this car? Um, I've done, in the past, two different Mercedes. I switched them over to Donut Grease. Did a two tank system, that was pretty fun for a while. Don't think I'll do it with this one because I enjoy the wagon. You know, I'd like to be able to put stuff in it. Um, if you've got a solution for these seats being kind of torn up, let me know that. I've been looking on eBay and this stuff is real expensive. So I'm kind of thinking the broken pieces, like I'll rebuild this myself. This, I think I can chip all the junk off and I might actually buy a wrap and just wrap the wood so it all looks kind of good again. Um, I've got new window switches for it, so that's all gonna work. So let's have fun with this series. Um, take yourself back. If you were 17 years old, 
you had a little cash, you bought your car, and you don't have the stress of a mortgage or a business to run or anything like that, what would you do? Where would you go? What kind of fun would you get into? Give us those suggestions and who knows, we might just do it and just get up and go.